Hello good people. Today we're going to look at strings and arrays once more. So first of all we're going to go ahead and create an array with a number of items in it. And from that what we're going to do is explore what happens when we uh, replace items but also uh, then look at individual items in the array based on that replacement. So good example of this we're going to create three items in our array. Uh, we're going to give initially every one of them the same slash else so that we can remove slash else from all of those items later on in order to give you an example of how it will look. So we're just going to go ahead and create some dummy entries and then afterwards we're going to show you the options in terms of what can be done in, in terms of selecting individual items within that array. So first of all here is our finished array so we're going to go ahead and encapsulate this, which basically means we're going to put the circular brackets in. We're going to replace, and then we're going to tell it where else exists. And then we're going to simply look at the output. Now we can see there's still three lines, but there's a very different content. So we're going to go ahead and we're also going to say, give me array item number two. Now remember that arrays start at zero, so when we say give array item Two, what we're actually saying is give us array item number three. So next up we're going to look at strings. So I'm going to go ahead and create another string for this example and what we're going to do is now break the string down a little bit. So we're going to say okay uh, we have a string with lots of spaces in. So I'm going to take my string and I'm going to say where we've got spaces we would like to um, split. So I'm going to go ahead and say okay again we're going to put it in to our nice little enclosed circular brackets. We're going to put the uh, split command and then we're going to tell it that we're going to use spaces. So we're going to just add a space in there and we're again going to show the response and we'll say give me number two. So again a bit like the arrays we're saying give me the second item but in this case the second item is actually the third item and so on and so forth. So it's important to remember again it starts at zero. So if we wanted to give all three items then we would say don't bother but if you want to give the individual array then you can put one, two, three. Next we're going to look at uh, putting strings into arrays. So we're going to create a flat string, something that is relatively straightforward, so a bit like our previous example, we're going to use spaces. This could be any character, we're just using spaces in this example because it's nice and easy. Um, now we're going to convert this string as we have right now and we're going to turn it into an array. So we're going to say, okay, first of all, uh, let's take this item and split it so we can say that we've got multiple values. Uh, we'll use the space example, so there we go ahead and we see, okay, we've got one, two, three, four items now. So now we're going to say, right, we need an array, so we're going to create a blank array. This is the equals at uh, enclosed circular brackets. And then we're going to say, okay, feed this array with our previous data, which we know is now four items. And if we look at our finished array, we should have one, two, three, four items. And that's how you turn a string into an array.